Hello again. Um, wanted to make a video because there's been kind of like a change in the plans recently. Um, if you go back onto my YouTube page, I actually recorded a couple of videos since my lumpectomy surgery, updating everyone. But in my craziness lately, I just forgot to send out um, a email blast. I guess there are videos there. So if you want to kind of catch up, there's two, maybe three videos that should be on my channel. Um, they probably look unfamiliar that'll update you. But anyway, as of right now, yesterday or Monday, I had a mammogram that was standard for, um, they wanted to get a look at a couple more things. Um, yesterday, I was supposed to meet with radiation oncology to have my CT and to plan everything with radiation. And today was supposed to be the day that I was going to start. But based on the mammogram I had Monday, which was uh, ordered because there were some spots seen um, by the radiologist, I guess, after my um, lumpectomy or something, that were like calcification spots. And the way it played out is that the hospital that did the mammogram, that radiologist, and I believe it's the same radiologist that has been, sorry, there's dogs and kids on the, all over this video. The radiologist who read the mammogram at the hospital where it was done called it DCIS, which is kind of like stage zero cancer. But the doctors at University Hospital main campus who are part of the tumor board disagreed and said that there was nothing from what they saw that would indicate that it was DCIS, that it was just simply calcification and large ducts, I guess is what my oncologist kept telling me. Um, I also met with my oncologist on um, yesterday for my just regular checkup with her or whatever. So as it goes then, the radiation oncologist was uncomfortable proceeding with radiation until there's a clear answer as to whether or not are those spots just truly calcifications that don't warrant any concern and we can move on with radiation or are they DCIS and they need to be surgically removed. So my oncologist, the radiation oncologist, as well as my breast surgeon have all been talking back and forth. Apparently, um, you know, the concern with my breast surgeon is that since these spots are on my chest wall, uh, you know, so deep, going in again cosmetically, um, you know, just constantly chopping away at me basically to remove these things is cosmetically not going to be a uh, very good outcome. So it's looking like it might be a mastectomy, um, which I told both my oncologist and the radiation oncologist, listen, I'm not opposed to that. If you need to do a mastectomy to remove it all, obviously this is diseased do it. And if it comes down to that, I'm going to advocate probably for doing a double just so that uh, I, I kinda, I'm kind of tired of doing this. I know I'm going to have to have scans all the time. I know spots are going to show up and I'm always going to have this, what's going on in there. So my thought as of right now is that if it gets to the point where they need to do surgery again, um, just make it a double mastectomy. And another thought with that I have is that if I do a double, if I decide to do reconstruction, Maybe the reconstruction cosmetically will look a little bit better. But um, so it's kind of frustrating. It's just, this is typical. Like even my oncologist said, she's like, you're a tough case. It's like every time we get through something and you do great, another thing pops up and they were like, okay, now let's take a look at this. So obviously things could be way worse right now. So I'm thankful and grateful and blessed. And I know that I am, that things are the way they are. This is just one more hiccup in the road, I guess. So um, my oncologist is meeting with the tumor board at University Hospital tomorrow, and then she's going to touch back with the radiation oncologist and the breast surgeon, and, um, you know, one of them will call me hopefully Friday and let me know what's up. Like, are we going to continue with radiation then starting next week? Am I looking at surgery or, you know, what's the deal? So that's where we're at. Uh, another pause, another hiccup, whatever, but, um, other than that, everything is good. I feel like myself. I got lots of hair growing back, as you can see. Um, my eyebrows are coming back, but my eyelashes actually fell out, and they continue to fall out. So I've got a couple stragglers hanging on. I don't know what that's all about, but heh, whatever. Uh, so that's it. Again, like I said, there are a couple other updates that I didn't email out. So if you want to look back on my YouTube channel, those videos are obviously posted, and you can feel free to look at those if you want. If not, uh, that's fine, too. So until I get some further news, that's it. Just keep me in your thoughts. Keep me in your prayers. I appreciate it. It helps. It works. I know. Um, and that's it. So until next time, bye.